tell us, I mean, do you get those like late night calls from people like frantic? I mean, to, tell us, to give us an example of, of what you've experienced. So absolutely, because because death is a 24 hour, seven, day, seven days a week occurrence. So my phone rings at midnight, my phone rings at 12 noon, it can ring at one in the morning. And so it, it's, it's a little um, difficult to, to speak with someone when their grandmother has has passed in her bed and she's it's two o'clock in the morning and they're calling you and calling around every funeral home trying to figure out what the prices are if they can afford you know to to talk to someone to bring their grandmother into their care um that's one of the many reasons and it can be a 25 year old who just went out to go to a party and just didn't make it home and at three o'clock in the morning um, his family has gotten word that he's perished and so they're saying, well, you need to call the funeral home. So either scenario, and even if someone is, you know, a lot of families actually, their, their family members are in hospice. And for some reason, they have failed to, you know, do the, the work that they need to do to make sure that once something happens, um, that they have connection with a funeral home. So it's many, many scenarios. Um, it's unfortunate. And it basically stems from an innate sense of death or talking about death. You know, and I think that's the largest part. I think if people would become more comfortable with the fact that death is a natural occurring event, mm -hmm. they would be more apt to put funds in place just like they would for vacation or saving for a home or a car or something like that. 